What I'm going to do for you today is going to do some beef ribs, short ribs, dino ribs. I think they're four bone. Yeah, dino ribs. Uh, they're going to be awesome. It's like brisket on a stick. Love them, love them, love them. One thing I like about these beef ribs is it's like brisket, but it tastes way less. It tastes like brisket to me. So I thought I want to show everyone how I do beef ribs on a smoker. If you don't have a smoker, you can do it in the oven. No big deal. You do it on a pellet grill. We're not doing it on a pellet grill. We're going to do it on a bigger neck. Temperatures are all still the same, all right? With that said, hey, let's get these beef ribs prepped, get them seasoned, and get them on the smoker. Let's go. First things first with these ribs, gotta get them trimmed up. Got our trusty Dostron boning knife. There we are. Look at that. You can take this skin off here. There's not a lot of meat there, really. And honestly, it holds everything together. I don't like to mess with it. What I do like to mess with is there is some silver skin here on top. I want to trim that off because no matter how long you cook this, it'd be like chewing on a shoe. So I'm just going to come in here, kind of take my, my boning knife and just kind of come in here and just start whacking at it. What I like to do is you see these, you can kind of see those strands and I just like to get the tip of my knife, just kind of come up through there, get as many as you can and it really don't compromise any of your meat. You can see it's pretty much the skin. So, you know, one thing I want to note is this is, uh, these are like choice or maybe even select ribs. Uh, with these ribs, you really, you really don't have to get, you know, prime or Wagyu. It's almost like too much fat at that point because there is quite a bit of fat on these. All right, uh, not too bad of a job. I mean, I'm not a professional or anything with ribs. Brisket ribs, I like them. Um, I wouldn't consider... I would consider myself a professional, but uh, you know, there's good groceries. Seasoning, let's talk about seasoning. Everybody has their own way. Some people has a binder, some people don't. People use mustard, people use this, people use that. For beef ribs, for a binder, I like to use a little wash your sister sauce. That's right. So I just I'll squirt a little bit of that, wash your sister sauce on there. For whatever reason, I just feel like wash your sister sauce and beef, it's like peas and carrots, all right? So a little bit of that. And I'm just gonna rub it around. I'm keeping this hand here clean. And I'll even, that's actually soy sauce. I grabbed the wrong thing. Soy sauce is fine. Didn't realize it. Sorry, I think it'll be fine. I like to add a little bit of, this is uh, Uncle Steve's pig shake. And it's got a little bit of sweet, which I like sweet with my, uh, with my beef. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. A little bit of this competition pig shake. There will be a link below for this. Um, I don't make anything off these. I just really enjoy it. I like the person. Uncle Steve is a great guy. All right. Now I'm coming here with a little bit of, uh, this is competition cow powder here. Okay. And what cow powder is, it's got a little bit more uh, pepper in it. Kind of gives you a little bit better bark. And just for you guys, at home to kind of know about me and my family and all that kind of stuff. Uh, my family don't like a lot of pepper or spice, if you will. So I try to keep, I try to keep that to a minimal, okay? And then just a little sprinkle of this. This is called If It Moves, but also got some more brown sugar in this. It's pretty good, it's called If It Moves. Come in here. All right. I want to make sure we get a nice, nice bark. All right. Last but not least, this right here is just some, uh, this is beef powder. Y'all know I love some beef powder. This is just going to try to amplify the beefy, big beefy flavor. So there you have it. I'm going to go wash my hands and we'll get that smoker ready. Let's go. All right, y'all, so smoker is up to temperatures, 250 degrees right now. Actually, we're probably about 260 right now. We'll put these beef ribs on. It's gonna lose a little bit, just that mass, getting ready to try to come up to temp. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna add a little smoking wood. I also apologize to the uh, sun's kind of coming in at an angle. Seasons are starting to change, starting to fight with these different angles, okay? 
I'm gonna do a little pecan wood, just some pecan, okay? Um, so yeah, got our ribs here. I'm gonna put those right there for right now. Take my rig out here. Got the pecan wood, boing. And boing. Kind of lay them in there like that. I love pecan wood. You can do whatever you like. Got our big old chunk of beef ribs here. Look at this. We're just going to lay them right here. All right, there we go. We're going to check back in about two hours. Doing pecan wood, 250, two hours. Let's see where we got. It takes about five hours, five to six hours for these dudes. So something to help me with this cook, I'm going to put my, uh, this is a smoke, Thermaworks Smoke X2. And what I'm going to do is it's going to help me monitor uh, kind of what's going on with the cook. Uh, so I don't have to kind of, I don't have to babysit it. Uh, and what it does is it monitors, uh, it monitors the pit temperature and also you have a meat thermometer. This is an X2, so it has two probes. They also have an X4, has four probes. But one thing that's cool, I mean, you have this little lanyard and you can go wherever, uh, at least about a mile or so. It's very long range. Uh, there's an alarm you set. Uh, so if it's overnight, you know, you could set it for if the pit goes too low, too high, alarms you, you can get down here and maintain it so it don't go out of control, okay? So there's a link down in my bio, Smoke X2. Love it. It's very dependable. Best thermometer company out there, Thermaworks. All right, so it's been, uh, been a couple, couple of hours. Let's give these things a look. Oh, mercy. My Smoke X2 says I'm about 142 degrees. But what I also like to do, I like to come in here and uh, just kind of verify. So yeah, in places it is 142 degrees, but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, everything's shaping up real nicely. Got some bark, exterior starting to set up. About two more hours, I'm gonna come back. All right, so it's been about five hours. Um, I had to go run an errand for about an hour. Decided to dial us down a little bit. It was at about 220 degrees. I didn't get a lot of action. Didn't climb much temperature wise. So right now we're sitting at about 185 degrees. It's now 4.38 and we need to eat about 5.30. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap these dudes. Texas crutch, whatever you wanna call it. Let's give them a look first. Show you where I'm at. Right now I'm about 185 degrees. Yeah, the bark set pretty good. So I think probably the best thing to do is it's still a little bit wet, but the egg kind of kind of makes things wet anyway. Uh, and again, I want to eat soon, so that's what we're gonna do. And there we go. Look at that. Pretty good looking stuff. I just wish it was done. Add a little bit more deliciousness. I'm gonna use some of this Wagyu beef tallow. Um, I'm just gonna put a dollop of it right there on top, just like that. And of course, I didn't bring enough tinfoil. Tell you what, that might be all I'm gonna do. So there it is. It's enough just to kind of help me along, help me to the finish line. Sometimes that's all you need, just something to help you to the finish line. Put the probe back in. All right, got a probe in. We need to, we just need to go about, about 10 degrees, about 10 degrees, but I want it done fairly quickly, okay? So again, I used a little bit of that Texas crutch. I didn't, I didn't fool it all the way. We're gonna see. First time I've ever really done this, kind of method with beef ribs. So, we shall see. Uh, temperature, I'm going about 325. Again, the bark was set. I'm trying to get it up to temperature. Is that the way I wanna do it? Not really, but it's gonna be fine. All right, let's see, uh, let's see where we go. Who knows? All right, y'all, so uh, we're at 197 degrees. I've been running this thing hot. Try to push this along, perfectly fine. And as you can see, probing very nice. I'm gonna take these off and let them rest, okay? We're gonna be eating here in about 30 minutes or so. 
Normally I want these to rest for much longer than that, but we just don't have the time and that's just how life goes. So I'm just gonna wrap these up and I'm just gonna leave them just kind of on the counter and just let them kind of chill out. Just let them just, just rest. That will do a lot of good. Plus it'll carry over some too. Let's get these on another thing of uh, tinfoil and uh, yeah, take them upstairs. Beautiful little Christmas gift, I must say. So I want to take it upstairs and just let it chill out, all right? Beef ribs, been, uh, they've been hanging out for, for a little while. They didn't quite finish quite the way I would like them to, but uh, you know what? That's just the way things happen, and that's okay. But they do look lovely. Look how beautiful those look. And they're gonna be delicious. Let's give it a slice, okay? Come on in here a little tight for me, babe. There you go. It's tender. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, just fell off the bone. Look at that. Boy, Maggie girl, she is going to be happy. Happy for that. There you go. Let's give it a try. Come in here. All right, we're going to give this a try. Ready? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very, very good. You want to try it? Give it a try. Like it? Not as tender as I wanted it. Wanna try it? Sure. Again, I rushed. I rushed thing. It's got good flavor. Very good flavor. All right. Hey, Mama, you wanna try it? Here. Can Mama try it? No, Mama, you wanna try the ribs? You want to try it? I'm good. You want to try it? I'm gonna try it. Mm. Is it yummy? Like it? All, right. All right, come back with me. All right, y'all, hey, that's what I got. We got uh, just a little bit of other vittles here. We got corn on the cob, we got some slaw here, we got some mashed potatoes for the kids. And that's it, y'all. I mean, pretty simple ribs. Again, they don't go as planned. There's always a way to call an audible and you do things differently. There's going to be two more videos to the left, to the right of me here. Check those out. So on the left, on the right, there's going to be two videos. I want you to check those out. They're going to help your griddle game and your smoking game.